1930, in Berlin, Germany, Steve Adler was born, but soon came Nazi authority and burgeoning anti-Semitic scorn, and so evolved, nastily, quickly, hatred in every form. Hitler, Fuhrer, Laws of Terror, Crystal knocked in 38, and so Steve does wonder, and he hoped for your father taken away. On return, beaten, shaven, Steve sent to Hamburg. Father, mother, brother, where, and how, and why, are they hurt? Shipped to London and unknown England, children packed along a wall, but must stay strong and carry on, for family, for Jews, for all. Relatives, friends, and uncles come, but us two left like ants. Abandonment? Could they yet be more butts and ants? Alas, don't know and can't hear, where is there to go? Is it over? My life? What purpose? My family? Oh the woe, oh how am I appalled? But must stay strong and carry on, for family, for Jews, for all. But then, great uncle comes, and my hopes no longer small. Steve Adler reunited with his brother in the spring of 1940, and with his parents that summer, as his family relocated to Chicago. Adler went on to earn a PhD in chemistry from Northwestern, and ended up living in Seattle with his wife and two daughters, where he would give talks about his survivorship experience. Steve was a brilliant student, a lover of music, and a devoted husband and father, before unfortunately passing in 2019. Adler's story may not represent our typical picture of resistance, but Adler's escape was heroic and is an important story of overcoming fear. Often, people fail to help others or themselves because they are scared. Scared for whether their help will be appreciated. Scared for what the consequences of acting may be. Scared for whether they even have the ability to help. But consider how scared Steve was. Picture yourself alone in that train station, in a foreign land, not speaking the language, watching as everyone else left with their family. And yet, through Kristallnacht, his dad's imprisonment, the train to Hamburg, the travel to London, sitting in that train station, Steve Adler, an eight-year-old boy, managed to stay motivated and determined. He managed to escape. Not only did Adler's escape afford him an ultimately fulfilling life, where he got to experience education, love, and art, human rights which the Nazis so often denied, but Adler's escape afforded a victory for all Jews, the protection of another human from the Nazis' inhumanity. Adler's story inspires me to recognize that helping others or yourself get out of a bad situation is more important than the fear of taking action.